All right, we're here at Microsoft in Redmond with Tim McDonough from Microsoft's Unlimited Potential team. And Tim, I know you guys had a big announcement earlier this week, but we didn't get a chance to see hands-on with what you were showing. So what have you got here? Hey, Todd, um, we're going to show you Microsoft One App, yeah. um, which is an application designed to run on feature phones and bring apps and services to feature phones in emerging markets. Gotcha. So I'm not going to be able to buy this at my neighborhood Verizon store. Not right away. Yeah. So this is this is the the experience when you open Microsoft One App for the first time, um, and this is the Microsoft experience. Uh, our partner in South Africa is Blue Label Telecoms, and they're delivering their own version, of course. But you can see a lot of popular applications. So here is Messenger, and you can see my status up at the top of the screen, waiting for the sun to come out, which I have 364 days a year. Um, a, a blocks game, uh, Facebook, which is one of my favorites. Um, a game we created internally called Monkey, um, things like a newsreader in the upper left, uh, Reversi, uh, Snakes Game, and Twitter. But let me jump back and let's start by taking a quick look at Facebook. So I'm going to click into it. So and right there we saw a little bit of a dialogue with a, it, it was processing, so that was pulling information from the cloud? Yeah, so, so I launched Facebook and the, the app connected to the cloud service and, and checked the version. and. Uh, it's the same version as last time I launched, which just loaded the, the Facebook experience right from the cache. So that was pretty fast. And then you can see all the things you'd expect to see on Facebook, um, but on a relatively inexpensive phone. So here's my news, news feed. And you can see what my friends are up to. And if I wanted to dive in and see what Derek was doing, I could look at his details, see his wall, add a comment. I'm going to cancel out of that, though. Um, I can check my wall, find my friends, and contact them directly. I have a notification here, a new friend invite. Um, I can jump in and uh, take a look at my photos. So um, just going to jump in, and it's going to go to Facebook. And I was here recently, and so it's cached all of the photos that I took with a, with a high-end digital camera and used my PC to post to Facebook. And you can see the, my latest and greatest uh, vacation photos, <laughs> chasing kids. Um, I can also go back and see my mobile uploads. So. Um, this was morning at Microsoft, a cup of Microsoft coffee. Um, but the, it's actually a great experience. If, if I have a phone that doesn't have a lot of memory, um, I can take a picture with one app using the, the phone's camera and send it instantly and directly to Facebook without having to worry about storing it on the phone. So that's a great feature when you don't have your, your camera with you to share a photo with your friends in real time. Go back up to Facebook Home. Let me take you back up a level. Let's take a look at Monkey. So Facebook is an application that was um, connecting to a web service and getting information from the web and bringing it back to, the, to one app. Uh, Monkey is a little application that the, the, the one app cloud downloads to the phone and it runs locally on the phone. Mm -hmm. So here I am playing a little game, and this app is running on the phone and giving me um, uh, uh, animation and good graphic performance so I can play a simple game. Um, and so this is just an example of a different kind of an application running on one app. Interesting. Facebook is a, is a web experience, and Monkey is a local, locally running game. Gotcha. Um, and then here's a reader. And it, ex it, it behaves like you'd expect a reader to behave, uh, whether you're on a phone or on a PC. And so now the reader, the reader knows that, that news is changing on, on a very frequent basis, so it's going back to the service and getting the latest information. So I can actually, I don't have favorites here. Well, it's doing that. So just to point out, this is not a smartphone. This is a feature phone. This is a feature phone. So this is not something that's usually set up for, for functions like this. This is a feature phone. It, it's it's um, a fairly popular one. And this is a, I, I happen to use a fairly high-end feature phone because this has a USB port so I can plug into a projector. But this runs equally well on uh, much simpler feature phones than this particular one that I carry around. Um, so um, our partner's in South, South, South Africa, so yeah, I'm going to show you just some South African feeds. And if you wanted to read about the, the, the antics of Somali pirates um, attacking the U.S. Navy, you could do that. <laughs> and if you wanted to, to read more, you could click Read More. If I wanted to send this to a friend and say, hey, check out this article, check out the cricket scores, or check out this latest news, I could send an SMS right from um, the reader in, in one app. Oh, okay. And that's just a fun way to, to share information that you may have on your phone that, that a friend hasn't seen. Okay, so this is Twitter. Yeah, this is Twitter. So. Um, I'm, I'm only following three people here to, to make the experience simple to see. So you can see as I can click through my tweets. 
um, and I want to show you one that I think is kind of fun um, from somebody using Microsoft One App in South Africa. It says, my first tweet ever using One App, awesome piece of technology. Oh, so is that somebody who's already using it as a commercial customer or a consumer customer? This is somebody playing with the, with the beta in South okay, Africa. Gotcha. And what's, what's fun for us in South Africa is a lot of the people we think who are going to be interested in the service are people that may not own their own PC. They may share a PC or go to a net cafe and rent one. Um, and this is the opportunity to, to actually own the device and own the experience you might have with Facebook or Twitter or any one of a number of apps and really get to carry them around on your phone in your pocket. I'm just going to hit this option key, which will bring up a range of options, including um, replying, forwarding a, a, a tweet, or creating one. And from the screen, I could use um, the, the 12 keys the, and the 1 through 9 and T9 on this, this phone to compose a tweet. Right, so you don't have a keyboard here. That's one of the issues with feature phones. You're going to have to use T9 or, or some other form of... Old, you, have, old fashioned. you have to use T9, um, although um, the people that, that use these phones regularly are amazing T9ers. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're remarkably fast. Yeah. Um, I'm not so fast, but for a tweet, I can get by. Yeah. Okay, Tim. Well, thanks very much.